Hello grade 7 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video lesson, I will be discussing about translation of English phrases to algebraic phrases or mathematical sentences. So remember that the correct translation of English phrases specifically in different math problems is very important for you to be able to solve that problem. So, kailangan ay marunong kayo mag-translate into a mathematical sentence or you can formulate the equation for you to be able to find the unknown values of that given problem. And then, the other thing is, kailangan, alam nyo din yung mga keyword na ginagamit sa different operations involved. Just like in addition, we have increase, added to, sum, etc. Subtraction. Uh, less than, less, decrease, etc. In multiplication, you have times, and then product. And for division, we have ratio of and quotient. So, yun yung mga dapat nyong tandaan para makapag-translate kayo ng English phrases to algebraic phrases. So, I have here examples. And by the way, you can use any letters in the English alphabet as your variable to represent the unknown value. Let me say, we are going to represent these examples, U, as our variables that stands for a real number. Then we are going to write a mathematical phrase that will represent the following. So we have here five examples, so A to E. So let's start with the first one. The English phrase given is for more than the, the number. So we have here 4. So we can write it as 4. So numerical value. And then you have here more than. And more than is the keyword in what operation? Addition. So therefore, we can write it as plus. And then the number since in our example, we are going to use u as our variable for that unknown. So, the number stands for u. So, therefore, we can write it like this one. So, 4 plus u or since addition is commutative property, we can write it other way around u plus 4. Okay, next. For letter B, we have here twice the number less 3. So, we are going to twice the number. So, the operation involved here is multiplication. So, we are going to double or we are going to twice the number. So, we can write it as 2u. And then less, what operation is involved? We have subtraction. And then, 3. So, we can write it as, like this one. Okay, next. For letter C, we have here, cube of twice the number. So, we will be starting with twice the number. Just like in our example B. So, we can write it as this one. And then, it says here that cube. So, meaning to say that we are going to multiply 2u by itself 3 times. So, therefore, it involves an exponent. So, we can put a parenthesis and then we need to raise it by 3. So, we can write it as the quantity of 2u cubed. Next, half the square of the number. So, we have here square of the number. So, so just like example of C, we are going to multiply the number by itself two times. So, that's why square. So, we can write it as U squared. And then, we have here half. So, we need to say that the involved operation is division. So, we need to uh, either multiply it by one half or divide it by two. So we can write it as u squared over two. 
And then for our last example, we have here fourth of a number decreased by itself. So we have here fourth of a number. So fourth, so the operation involved is division. So fourth or one fourth. So therefore, we can write it as u over 4. And then, decrease. So, decrease is the keyword for subtraction. So, we can write it as minus and then by itself. So, it is pertaining to the number that is u. So, we can write it as like this one. So, I hope na nakuha nyo yung ating first example. So, etong A to N. A to E, and then I will be giving another examples. So, for our next example, so we can apply the concept of translation of English phrases to algebraic phrases in some simple problem just like this one. So, let C be the age of Carlos. So, C will be the unknown or will be our variable. And then we are going to answer the question that follows. To represent the age of Carlo. Letter A, how old was he two years ago? So we can write it as his age, that is C, since two years ago, so we need to subtract. So C minus 2. And then next, how old will he be five years from now? So we can represent it as and then 5 years from now so we can add 5 years so that is C plus 5 and then for the last one how old will he be in a decade so remember a decade so one decade is equivalent to 10 years so therefore his age in a decade will be C plus 10 Okay, let's move on to a more complex problem regarding our lesson, translation of English phrases to algebraic phrases. So, for our last examples, 8 more than tries a number is 7 times the number itself. So, let's start with the statement, 8 more than tries a number. So, we have here 8. So numerically, and then more than, the operation involved is addition. And then we have here, tries a number. So let us represent a number as letter N. So tries, so meaning the operation involved is multiplication. So we need to multiply to that given number by 3. Because thrice means 3. So 3N. And then we have here the word is that is equal to 7 times the number itself. So we have here 7 times the operation involved is multiplication. So we have here 7 and then we need to multiply it by the number itself n. So we can write it as 8 plus 3n equals to 7n or the other way around. 3n plus 8 equals to 7n. Again, remember that addition is commutative. So, pwede siyang magbaliktad yung dalawang terms. The next one is the sum of 3 consecutive numbers. Again, tandaan to bagong uh, terminology. 3 consecutive numbers that is unknown. Again, pag sinabi natin consecutive numbers, magkakasunod just like 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, etc. And since we are pertaining to unknown values, so we can write the 3 consecutive numbers as n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2. And then we have here the word is that is equal to 6. Again, remember the three consecutive number numbers n as the first number n plus 1 dinagdagan lang natin yung isa so that is the second number and then n plus 2 
that will be the third number that is equal to 6. So that's how we translate English phrases to algebraic phrases. So I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and share this video and see you on our next video lesson.